All right, everybody, welcome to Amazing Helen. And we got us a dirty car for once, Mike. It's dirty, dirty. Dirty car, yeah. So, it's done um, us well, though. Yeah, I can't, um, I should put an obsessed garage uh, thing on there for them. Um, this is a Turo car. It's actually a really nice car. Yeah, it's um, nice to drive. It's a, uh, it's a Panamera 4S, I think, what, a 2021. 440 like horsepower, yeah. twin turbo V6, 2.9 liters. It's a nice car. Mm -hmm. um, we've really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend renting a nice car like this if you're going to hike and stuff. We had to be super uh, we, careful. Yeah, we, we got some just some you know just some sand and stuff, um, but um, it, we haven't got anything really super. We didn't damage anything or anything like that. So we're going to clean it up, detail it. I guess just wash it. I don't know they call it detail, but we're going to clean it up real nicely. And drop the car back up to back off uh, tomorrow to the guy and uh so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the interior we're gonna pull it out because i want to get some shots of washing outside for the first mm -hmm. time and uh plus the wheels these are steel brakes and so it's yeah. gonna make a huge mess the wheel wells are a little dirty up front too yeah yeah so rather than cleaning it here in this really nice garage we'll clean it outside in the really nice outdoor area that'll yep. clean up a little bit all right thing stinks is i didn't get my uh i didn't get my vacuum so we're going to use the rigid piece of junk that's all right. Let me get the. Uh, it's a regular man's back. Cord. Don't you dare plug that thing into a wall. I'm not. I'm just gonna. It's gonna. Do it so we don't have to. We pick the one outlet over there. We're gonna use our all fanciness. There we go. So I got a flex vacuum that'll be here tomorrow. Just in time it's for because us to we leave. They would have, no one's gonna buy that. Well, we sold out of them twice. That's crazy. I couldn't, couldn't get one for myself. One side stayed pretty clean because Matt didn't sit over there. Oh, we do have it. What are you looking for? Interior cleaner. Oh, it's up there. Yep. I forgot about what's faint. Oh my like, god. Interior cleaner. Yeah, this is a, a necessary. Carpet removal. It's been a long time since I had to do something like this. Yeah, this is a. But see, this is what I'm talking about. This place, you rent the place, and you come here, and you even if you had a Turo car, just clean it up before you bring it back. Perfect. Yeah, or you know, if it were me, You'd if we weren't it. if we weren't doing all these projects, I would have washed this thing three times. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah. We just have been working so darn hard. If you come here and you rent the place, you don't have, they don't have to. No you work. So they have all the time in the world to come out here and tweak the, even if you run a nice Turo car or... You, you can practice polishing on someone else's car. Yeah. Do a nice, do, yep. a nice, do a solid for them. Yep. All right, let's go. I'm backing this out. I'll wipe it out after he's done. We are dangerously close to a, uh, a custom uh, uh, vacuum system. We're going to do it here. It's going to be freaking awesome. Just wait. So I'll have the flex here and we'll also do a custom central vac. Hit this here. Looks like some grease or something. Yeah, that's not, we didn't have any grease. Just using a little uh, interior cleaner from PNS. Clean up all this. So we got our Turo host car a little dirty, but we're gonna send it back to him cleaner than we got it. All right, it's all vacuumed. This looks good back here. Did you already do the back glass? No, I didn't do any of the glass yet. Huh, not much of a talk, huh? Yeah, yeah, the interior. Yeah, it's a little noisy. Yeah. Yeah. So just use a little invisible glass. I wish I could uh, see. This is what I'm saying. When we when we rent the M3 to people, this is what people are going to do. Same thing. Clean it up. Bring it back as good or better than you left it. Oh God. Yeah, nice and clean. Yeah. It's cleaner than when we got it. Oh yeah. Because he's just paying a car service to. Yeah. Cleaning service to clean it. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty nice car, though. Yeah. Mike was saying, we noticed the back has probably been in a little wreck, so. 
Yeah. It's possible. What's all over this? Oh, you gotta wipe this down. Do you have the interior cleaner still? Yeah. Backside of this seat. Okay. So maybe he's maybe he buys these things, nice car like this, salvage, gets yeah. it fixed, and then tours it because he doesn't not gonna be emotionally attached to a salvage car. And people renting it would never know. Mm -hmm. I bet one of these would be cool to have used, you know, if you found a good one, because they probably depreciate pretty heavily. And it's a nice car. I just don't know that I'd spend 140 on it. Right. You said the loaded turbo is what? Two, one, 240? Oh yeah, that's a lot. I wonder what they're. I wonder what they are like three years old with thirty thousand miles on them. I don't know that I want one. No, maybe not. But I mean, if you're just going to daily something, something to yeah, fun, I'm, something to experience. I'm gonna fix the steering wheel for them. Huh? I'm gonna fix the steering wheel for them. Yeah. His tent really is really scratched on the front windows. Do a little color lock, strong cleaner. Yeah, get rid of the shine. Yeah. See how shiny that is. go get a white towel and show you. Yeah, it's I'll show bet it. it'll show up on that blue one. Just keep it on the same spot. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Put a little leather shield on there and have it nice for him. Look at that. Nice and matte. No more shine. If you do that to your leather steering wheel once a year, good to go. Basically the same steering wheel they use in a 911 Turbo. It's very similar. It's the same steering wheel and everything. Yeah. Pretty much. But it doesn't have this, does it? In, in like a GT car? Yeah. It does? It does now, yeah. Oh yeah? So that's a mode switch, is that what that is? Yeah. It's like a M1, M2 switch from BMW. I wish they didn't have it. I'd rather not have it. Yeah, too many choices. Yeah, just do it right here. All right, let's put a little leather shield on there and the steering wheel's good. You can do the window here, it's fine. I hate doing windshields, Mike. Not my favorite glass to clean. Like driver's side door, passenger side door window. Do the, uh, while you're in there, do the screen too. Yeah, I'm going to. My interior cleaner and smeared it. That's it. Put the carpets in, we'll spray a little, bullet, little uh, Eden in here. Oh yeah, he'll think some Supermodels rented this car. It smells so good. All Look right. at that steering wheel. That looks so much different. Way better. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like a new car. It's just got a lot of fingernail scratching. Yeah, it does have a few here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take a little bit of this and just do. Oops. Just do that. Piece of cake. He probably, this probably needed some protection cream on it, but this car's not three years old. That's the general guideline is you would put a layer of protection cream. I mean, we're getting a little above our, I paid money to clean someone's car for them, but you just wipe the excess, shouldn't show anything. And then this becomes your, think of this as like waxing. 
becomes your sacrificial layer without messing up with any of the breathability of the leather. Got rid of that shine and dirt. Beautiful. Okay, interior's done. We'll put the mats back in. Nice and easy. Yeah, we've had a good week in this car, don't you think, Mike? Yes, sir. The things we've done in it. I don't know how many miles we put on it. What's your guess? I mean, part of it was what, 150 getting here from? Not many, yeah. Probably 400 miles. Yeah, it was unlimited miles, right? Yeah. So, I really don't, not a concern. I'm just curious. I don't, I don't think, I don't know if we even know what it started with. I don't even remember. It was like 29,400 or something like that. Uh, foam cannon. We'll right. put, we'll put our quick release here. Oh yeah, that's right, we got that. I didn't, I didn't have these. We got the new PP press thing too. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring one. These are the latest iteration of the, uh, this is really nice. Go cleaner? Yeah. Yeah, if you back the car up, get it in position, I'll do that. We're gonna do it under the uh, boom pole, right? Yeah. Okay. Hit that button for me, Mike, please. This is this. Well, we're gonna find out real quick as soon as I turn this on. There we go. I think I'll get the wheel wells first before he does the wheels. They're pretty dirty. That wheel gap, Mike. I think we got her on, li on lift still, right? Yeah, it is. Four by four mode? Yeah. You know, this thing's pretty quiet to drive. It's got felt, you know, the fender wells are felt. What did we say this car weighs, Mike? 4,500? Yeah, it's 4,500 pounds. Lots of sound deadening. Big car, too. You think any of his customer, previous customers have done this, Mike? If we, uh, if we get a note from him saying, hey, the car was dirty, oh, hell. You can refer to the video. <laughs> Nice guy. Oh, this is the dirtiest one. Look at that. You do the washing, I'll do the talking. Is that how it works? Okay. Yeah, I'm the best talker. <laughs> well, I'm the best washer, too. Oh. <laughs> what are you going to talk about? I don't know. Talk about how I need another Viper chair here. And that's what I'm going to talk about. You can go down with that, though? Yeah. Yeah, so this is our first real experience with actually you know, washing something like, uh, I don't know, we wash some stuff when you're here, but it's I washed my F-250 in here, yeah, but it, didn't but it seem wasn't like, like, yeah, it was just, yeah. we were new to the game then. Oh, the tires are pretty clean. They're not, uh, not yellowing up. So we got the, we got the home theater done. Big, big epiphany in the home theater. You know, what I was planning on doing, so the way I'd set this up is that I did. Um, I did the home theater. I, I was. I was gonna um, do the T778, which is the receiver, and I was gonna do that. So I rushed one here. It got here the day we were leaving on phase one, the end of phase one, and so I couldn't. Um, I couldn't install it, so it was just sitting down there. So I figured, I can't get a hold, and I don't want to spend the money for separates to do a separate amplifier, preamplifiers, like you know, fifteen thousand dollars worth of stuff you need to do it. And so I'll just, you know, I'll use that receiver. The other system's working okay. Um, so I'll use that receiver that I was gonna use to replace the Sony and, um, and I'll set up the evokes and set up the theater. And uh, I just assumed that it would sound okay. You know, it would work, but I'd be disappointed and then want to you know, redo it. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not changing it at all. So I called Tommy at uh, HQ. I had a, we had taken some photos of a C298, which is the, would, with the the, the, the two-channel non-master series, but a really robust amplifier. 
So I'll take that two channel, go pre out of the, of the T778 receiver into that 298, into the two fronts, which are the power hungry speakers. And then the center surrounds and one set of the height channels, the Atmos channels, will all be done by the receiver. And then I'm bringing a C268, which is an 80 watt, very similar to the amplifier inside of the T778. That amplifier will power the remaining height channels. We'll have one pair of height channels that have like super juice uh, and extra, extra power. And that theater's done. So the only thing I'll need to do is our, our acoustic treatments, Mike. That's it. Our wiring's good. Well, I mean, I had to install the TV when it shows up in a couple of days here, but yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's it's really really good. Yeah, this is nice under here. So I think what you should do, you know, if your car's super dirty, you know, wash it out here or do the wheels and tires, and if you want to go in the air conditioning. But I mean, wouldn't you want to be looking out over the mountains? I love it. This is great, and it's not too. It's like really nice. Let me go see what I got. Please be in the TV. Please be the TV. No, it's the base for the ski erg. I just noticed he did gray on the calipers too. Oh yeah. I don't know if I like this old, the old one out here. The old stinky old uh, tip, you know, the old style mm -hmm. automatic. Mm -hmm. Seems like such a dud compared to the, you know, the, the new. I know, but the whole thought was. I like a, this. You can holster your I stuff know. here. That's what. Uh, you stage all your soaps and your cannons. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. This is great. Everything about this place is great. So the gym is done. I can't think of, other than adding some dumbbells, like I can't think of anything else I'd even want out there. Maybe some rings. I'm a little too chubby to be doing muscle up, ring, ring muscle ups anyway, so. Yeah. Other than a Peloton yeah, and a tonal. Yeah. You get a Peloton, a mirror, and a tonal, but you can't use those unless you're in the air conditioning, you know. They don't work. Like they turn off if it gets too uncomfortable for you. Oh really? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, if like you're in any sort of discomfort, you uh -huh. know, they, they don't they, they they turn off and get back to gotta be at seventy two, less than fifty percent humidity. <laughs> and you gotta have a towel. If it senses any sweat dripping. It turns okay. off, you know. It doesn't want you having a heart attack. Gotcha, gotcha. Or overexerting yourself that you, you, you know. Yeah. Heaven forbid you get into anaerobic exercise or yeah, yeah. aerobic yeah. exercise. You don't want to get sued for you doing something. Yeah. So, this car is pretty. Yeah, it turned out pretty good, huh? Yeah, I like it. I think it's a good trip. It was I mean, a good trip. Good rental. Yeah, I mean, I'm still thinking. How much was this day? Two hundred bucks? Two twenty? It was one sixty-one a day, but then you got to pay all, all the nonsense. fees and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's not that much more than a decent rental car. It hurts. True. Right. Of course, you don't have to really clean your rental car. It hurts. But... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically you don't really have to clean this either, do you? I don't know. I don't know. Is there a cleaning fee involved? I don't. I don't think I've ever used Toro. Only driven. I don't know. I've always cleaned them. I've only had two. One of them got crashed. The other one is this one. Actually, no. I did the M3. Yeah, so three. Yeah, you did the gold. The yeah, I didn't do anything with that. Yeah. I just dusted out the mats. You know? Or that was an M4, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, M4. Yeah. Gosh, there's a lot of a lot of wheel there on the 21. <laughs> there's a lot of wheel. Yeah. A lot of spokes too. Right now we only have one person booked in October. I'm telling you right now. This is the time to come. Get absolutely. it? I'm telling you. Just make it happen. Figure out how to get here. So go to go to destinationrg.com. You can see the calendar. So actually two weeks in October booked. So there's two weeks that are open in October. Because I'm coming one of them with Pan. And then um, the other one's booked by, you know, a, a someone who booked it. So I think, I think you want to get in on it. Most of November's book. Early November's great, too. So, I mean, there's, there's a good three weeks in there that you're going to want to book. And for the end of the year, I'm keeping it at 5,500 until the end of the year. And then we're going to do a peak and on peak and we'll go to 6,500. It's only going to get better. So in October, I'm coming up to do some, do some design. Do some fishing. We'll have a whole uh, hiking series. 
so you'll have some content and you'll know where to hike. It's gonna be pretty, pretty clean little car for him. Hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what the weather looks like. Six percent chance of rain. Six? Yeah. Oh, we're good. It was a high of 79, tomorrow high of 74, it looks like. This is good. This is real good. Right, let's see how our boom pole works. Pretty good, Mike. Pretty good. Pretty good. Whisper quiet. Yep. No leaks. Yep. Anything I can do to get out of Washington. <laughs> Just do talk. <laughs> Just talk. I like to talk. That's what it, you should. That's a good. Someone wash you talk. Yeah. I yeah. Like. I don't know. I get in a, a groove. Though, yeah. When you, know. you start. When you start wash. That's why I was when we were washing and when I did my wash talk. I was just focused on chatting. Just a little fireside chat going here, bros. You do. Take don't blow us up. Put this over here. There's a pilot spot in there somewhere. I'm just doing it right here. Uh-oh, chicken and out. Turn it on for a second here. Do I smell any gas? Yeah, so where should I light this stupid thing? That's the question. I think there's a pilot spot that you go to. There we go. <laughs> That's cool or what? <laughs> That's pretty <Yeah>. fun. <laughs> you got some marshmallows? Well, it's not that kind of fire. It's just gonna be gas. Yeah. I don't like my marshmallows to taste like smoke anyway. Yeah, buddy, there we go. Sit here, get a little warmth of the fire if it was cold. It's kind of a weird place for a fireplace though, don't you think? I mean, why is this here? Because they can. Yeah. I mean, the whole structure of this house is built around this darn fireplace that is useless. <laughs> yeah. Pretty fun. Places, I swear, every time I'm here, I'm like, it just, it just reminds me of how you would build a hotel. You know? Yeah, it's a Mormon hotel. Mm-hmm. Hotel Mormon. Only I'm making it better. It's got a better gym. You got a better home theater. You got better knives, plates, forks desk just doesn't have any service no service and no smiles you're on your freaking you're on your own I got you here 98 percent of the way there you got to do the rest so let's see I'm gonna you got to get the Google cam set up for that I just want cameras on the exterior not you know, there won't be anything in the interior well, yeah, you just want, want to make sure that people you are... check delivery. Yeah. I want to really just check yeah. deliveries and stuff. And make hey, sure that when it's this. not booked and someone shows up here, who right. is that? I yeah. want her to be able to look, hey, you know, yeah. there's delivery, something sitting out there, you know, grab it. I need another Viper chair. Because most people are going to have a couple people. Man, look how dirty that is. <laughs> That's why I wanted to do it out here. When you take it to the car wash, they don't wash the barrels. Mm -mm. No, sir. It's getting kind of hot over here. <laughs> <laughs> I was so wondering. anyway, I can do the Google cams. Um, we're going to work on the lighting. Like all these, all these recess fixtures are getting swapped for 3K SLG fixtures. How's the hose length? Feel good? It's a uh, 
end of boom to perfect. ground plus three feet. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It did, it did my truck, which is about as big as you can fit in here. Yeah. And it does this. I've got to do, uh, I'm going to cut a couple of uh, Hapala drawers. I got to do uh, three drawers because I got all that stuff. Um, what else am I going to work on? I want to I want to start to dig into the website a little bit and give those guys a little direction on how I want the flow to look. Because each one of these trips, the plan is to improve the, um, you know, the content, prove how much information is available on the place. So it becomes kind of entertaining. Like if you just discovered it, let's say you're following Obsessed Garage for three months. Oh, there's Destination OG. What's that? And you're like, oh, I would like to do that. And you could spend like a week or two. Digging deeper and deeper yeah, in all the videos. Then you get hyped up about renting it. Of photos yeah. and yeah. write-ups and content, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So that's why we spent a lot of time hiking this time. I'd like to spend a lot of time doing some other things, fishing this winter. Yeah, when did he say the best time to fish? I know he said in October, October when you're October scheduled. October April. So, so probably later in the year, like November, December. Mm -hmm. It's best to go biting. in like February and gear up. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's still 30s, 40s here, yeah. you know. And gear up and go out and catch crazy fish. All right, while he's doing that, finishing this last wheel, let me go uh, get the soap bucket ready. I'll bring it out here. Yeah, you gotta, we got a bucket filler. Got to test it out. Yeah, test out my prior uh, installation there. If it spews water or if it works. Either or is good. So I think this, this car's got PPF on it. I think it's probably coated too. So we're going to do car pro reset. A rinse bucket. Let me go grab a foam cannon. Yeah, I don't like any of the wheel options. This is the big car. I'll fill up the foam can most of the way. Rusty keeps improving these things. They keep getting better and better. Their quick disconnects. The new action is awesome. You should put some Teflon tape here because this, this wants to back out because there's only like two teeth on the threads on the foam cannon. We got really good water here too. How's the fire treating you, Mike? It's feeling good? Yeah, it's nice. It's ambience. romantic. Yeah, I feel more in touch with the car. Nice ambiance. Yeah. Like if you're doing the evening, that's sort of Oh, it'd good. be nice. It'd be cool if you had that. You're getting yeah. killed by mosquitoes or everything. Yeah. You kind of are in the middle of the woods. I feel like, I guess my guys thinned out all this. Yeah. Back foliage? Yeah. Yeah. See all the wood we threw down there? Is that a Bud Light down there? Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, I saw that the other day. Yeah, those calipers are looking a little, a little dirty, a little caked on. Get in there with those freaking spokes in the way. All right, let me have that. You want to do the fun part or you want me to do it? What's the fun part? The, the foam cannon? No. The you can do, if you, you, you know, you deserve a little fun. You have the fun part. I'm fine, but you can foam it. You got to rinse it first. Yeah. Yeah, this boom pole action's nice. Very nice. So I kind of centered it this way and I think we're about even front to back. More carpenter bees. Just think of how far this place has come. As nice as it was, like how much we did to this darn thing.
There were some leaves jammed in there. Now you blow them out. Yeah, they're good. And blow that off. Yeah, there they are. It's all these. Blow them out with a leaf blower. For all the off-roading we did, we didn't nip the uh, front lip at all. Well, look how tall this thing gets. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's like a darn near SUV. You got six inches of ground clearance in the front, probably. This is a big car. A lot of surface area on this puppy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this shelf. Yeah, isn't it great? You got rid of all that junk. You could have some Tostitos up there. Yeah. A little chip and dip. You already put soap in the wash bucket? Yeah. barely make it around this thing. It's also nice having the holster right here. Yeah. Every time I've always felt like my holster was not in a good spot. It's like right there, it's good. <clears throat> yeah, this is the dream. Social media director Matt Mormon here. Here. I love that. I don't know why I like that so much. It's so dumb. Freaking fireplace. Fireside. I wish I could. It's so sore. I wish I could bend down. This car is big. <laughs> and leaning over, I get soaked. A monster. Yeah, it's almost like an SUV, like you said. Turn that wheel bucket. <laughs> and give me that foam cannon to the left side with the hex pointing towards me. No, nope, no, nope, turn, turn it. We go to the left a little with the whole thing, move it over. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now Mike, come over here and wash from this side. But move to your right or your left a little bit, sorry. Oh yeah, there we go. I'll just do a still. Are you, are you filming or picture? Pictures. Okay. Now that's a... <laughs> Does it look stupid? Yeah, it looks amazing. <laughs> look at this. This is great. Look at that. I got the fire. Oh, that's the perfect. Bucket, foam cannon, little foam. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's great. A little fireside chat. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. There's a reaching one. That's how. That's the. That's the one. Man, every time I touch the door handle, it goes crazy. Touch entry? Yeah, every time I- in your pocket? No, it's keys up here on the shelf. Oh, it's too close, that's why. <laughs> we, we need to take it in the house or something. It's going good. I think the car is definitely coated. So it's washing really nicely, actually. I like this color. It's not as dark as Nardo. I wonder what the color is. Switched. Oh, 
cow. Right now I did, didn't I? Good thing, Mike. Thanks for catching it. Hey, you talking, man. Because mine is, my wash is blue. Every once in a while I do, I revert back to mine. Yeah. I think when Matt first started selling them, that's the way they were. And then someone told him to change it, and he did. So, I still have the original, the OG OG bucket package. Okay, blue is rinse, red is wash. I think I did it on every, every previous dip, I think I was right, but I think he caught me on that one. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. You're like my handler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I need one. Ooh, that's a good post there. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. No product specific. Some of the posts now, like it already noticed that shirt and that hat, it knew it. All I had to do was just confirm. How cool is that? What are they washing the M2? What are they washing it with? They at my house? No, yeah, so a uh, giveaway on the M2 was supposed to start um, tomorrow. Um, I, we had, a, we had um, the, the attorney, we had to get the attorney to do some more extra work to get it right. So it's actually going to start on the 25th. 23rd. 23rd, is that when it's starting? So it's going to start a few days late. Um, the M2 is actually coming up here tomorrow. Poor Toda, he's going to drive the M2 up here. So bad for him. Yeah. Yeah, poor guy. So, although it may not be fun, I don't know, maybe, maybe he doesn't want that pressure. Right. So, so the giveaway will start on SuscarageGarage.com. We're going to do lots of heavy M2 footage this um, content this next next month or so. I'm just going to come up here and do some washing. I'm gonna, I want to do detail the interior. I haven't done that yet. Just, you know, do the same thing I did to the steering wheel on this thing. Maybe I'll like to do some, some late night fireside. Because this will look great when it's dark out. Yeah. I just wonder how the light. I guess, you know, if it was dark, too dark, you would just go inside. Yeah. But e I think even just putting the SLGs out here will make a big difference to these stupid bulbs. Yeah, oh, let me cut open those. Uh, ear protection thingies. I used to like washing in the garage a lot, but look at that. You can wash, wash out here, look at the forest. Nice. I smell the fire. Is there real wood in there? You smell that? There must be something in there. It did probably never been used. It's burning off. Oh, I smell like wood. Not the old stubby. I think this is gonna be my new look. I gotta get some OG hiking gear. I gotta talk to Marmot. And whatever these shorts are called, they're awesome. Steel, they were like, Steel Wool Co. or something like that. My calves looking any bigger after doing all the hiking? I suspect not. I think with the right wheels, this could look pretty, pretty tough. Yeah. I think some, uh, yeah, maybe some, I don't know. 22 something or others. Yeah, maybe P10, P104s. Almost ran out of battery on this car, it's so big. What you got here, buddy? What are you doing? What are you using? Not this. Know. No? These are tile. These are for tires. For what? Tires? I don't know what you use. I have a different tile set than you. That's how you get edumacated on what you use. I thought those were for wheels. Yeah, wheels and tires. Yeah. Aren't we going to drive them? And well, and those in are the about a half an hour, is a giant car. Well, I'll, do the, I'll do the wheels while you're doing that. Okay. Hmm? We only need one of these. So in other words, you use the wrong tires, oh, towels. <laughs> the orange ones aren't for... I get them going. 
No, I said whatever you're using, whatever oh, you're doing. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I could have afford to use it for wheels. I didn't know. We should have just deionized it and walked away. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't making a video. You know, I would cheat it. Lie and cheat my way through life. OG drying aid. A little Panamera. It's a good combo, I think. Yeah. If I had my little Porsche, two, you know, the pour two thingy, yeah, then. Reset the service. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we took care of that for you. Full detail. Change the oil. Change the oil. Also, I noted this tires need rotation, so we went ahead and took care of that as well. I was like, other douchey YouTubers would be like, you should give it to me for free because you're going to get all kinds of publicity. Oh, yeah. Lots of publicity. They want to know where you got it. I do like this color a lot. Is it, I think it's chalk. Is it? I'm pretty sure. I'm going to party over at the, uh, the old Valhalla. Yeah. Should go out there, meet some people. Yeah. That's what I want to do some socializing. You know how much I like to do that. Yeah, this PPF's all water spotted up. Put some Avalon King on here. That's one thing I don't understand is how people can be so dumb. They're not like, like I see comments on like Avalon King posts and stuff. I don't know why I always get tagged them and stuff. Like, how could you not realize the dude is just buying it on Alibaba and putting it in a bottle? Like, there's no test, there's nothing. It's just junk. The cheapest stuff you can find, you mark it up two or three times, so it costs, you know, buck fifty to put it in that bottle, and you're selling some junk. And people are like, man, this stuff is really good. I know, but wouldn't you just, it's so simple, just buy the stuff that works. You don't need to do that. It costs the same. Just buy G Technic. Yeah, but Avalon King's 35% off of $90 makes makes it a deal. Makes it like you're getting something good. No, you're getting the dollar fifty of nothing in a bottle. Yeah, this is a lot of a lot of paint. A lot of paint. I think it's bigger than an M5. Yeah, sure seems like it. Imagine the, imagine the executive edition. Yeah, it's extra extended. long, isn't it? Like yeah. a few inches longer? Yep. That's the one I need to get when you're chauffeuring me around. Yeah, that'd be good. That one might have like reclined seats. Yeah. Cer certain temperature setting. Yeah, I would like the massager on. The seat reclined. The receipt reclined to precisely six degrees from perpendicular. If it's five, I'll know it. It'll be unacceptable, so I'll get you a calibration tool. Make sure you know exactly. It's looking pretty sharp. Oh, we're returning this at the airport, eh? Yep. Yeah. I think you're just going to put the window. I sent you the instructions. Yeah, I saw, the I saw them. You're yeah. just going to put the window sticker or the window thingy majiggy on it. I get you all the convenience. I get none of the convenience. I'm the one that has to go to the darn coffee shop and sit there while you gorge yourself. I do what? Gorge? Yeah, it's frivolous. I 100% guarantee you, I've seen you eat more than you've seen me eat. I didn't inconvenience you. Uh, uh, no. You didn't have to sit there and watch me. You just happened to be there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I've got to sit there and run errands while you're Right. Illegally parking. People are looking at me funny. <laughs> hey, that was a, there, it didn't even say no parking. Mm -hmm. You saw there was no signs. At the end of the day, you would run 20 errands to hobby shops and gun stores and yeah. clothing supply and hiking supply. You were ready to come home and I just needed a cup of coffee. Yeah, but since chauffeurs aren't supposed to take the chauffee to run their errands. <laughs> it, was, you know? it was on the way. Yeah, that doesn't work way. that way. <laughs> you think Donald Trump has to wait for his driver? Well, to no, he he's a billionaire. Yeah, well, I'm on my way. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> 
when, when you get there, I promise, no coffee. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to wear a name tag. It's looking good, this thing is I'm all jazzed up here. Let those tires marinate. Yeah. They probably haven't been dressed in quite a while. Well, they probably have, just with the wrong yeah. silicone nastiness. Yeah. I don't know, I double scrubbed them and they weren't really dirty. I mean, you figure a Turo car like this, I mean, he probably gets a clean after every single run. I would imagine. You'd have to. So. Unless it was maybe a one day and the guy didn't mess it up. I like how the windows, like all this is at the same plane. Like the trim plane as a window. Same thing here. Uh-huh, I see it. Make it e easier to polish if you were so inclined. Nice. Despite being big, it's a pretty easy car to wash. Mm -hmm. You know, some cars are annoying. Yeah, it doesn't hold water like BMWs, you know, in the drip rail here. It's all, it's all gone, no drips after the fact. We are a couple of nice guys. Good customers. Yeah, it looks good, man. Looks real good. It's better than what we got. Definitely. He's probably gonna put a comment in your uh, in your file. Excellent renter. No, I'll probably get in trouble for something. Yeah, who do you think you are? <laughs> no, there'll be like some scratch that we didn't put in it or something. Yeah. Now this guy seems pretty chill. Just makes the lease payment for the month. For sure. Although I'm not sure he's leased it with an unlimited finance. mile rental. Finance payment. Yeah. Done. Cool. Sweet. All you gotta do is wipe the tires. Yeah, I'd say let them sit. Yeah. Lower it down, pull oh, it man. in. Yeah. Still only need one towel. It's good. Put these back. Well, you dried it pretty thoroughly with the blower. Yeah. That's a wrap, people. You two could be having a fireside chat. Yeah. M2 giveaway starts. I think people are going to be disappointed I didn't ask you any riveting questions. We're too busy working. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. When I do a fireside chat, I'll ask them. What your greatest moment in life is? Greatest accomplishment? What makes you tear up?